folks, welcome back to another unboxing video. Tonight I've got one box to do for you. Um, this is a liquidation pallet auction uh, of Amazon Returns. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe down below, click the like button, comment if you've got any questions or suggestions on the videos. Uh, we'll get right into this and see what we've got in this box. Here we go. Pretty, it's a heavy box. Uh, all right, looks like uh, possibly a hardware uh, box. Let's see what we've got. All right, the first item that caught my attention uh, is this uh, Create Jewelry with Stamping Set. It that's the label. Uh, a lot of the content seemed to have moved around in here. Uh, I've never made jewelry myself, but there's a lot of... So these things are embossing tools. You can see, uh, probably can't see very well in the video, but there's like a, a little, uh, in this case a number, uh, that you can stamp. You, you hammer it down, uh, this little thing strikes into the metal or whatever it is that you're embossing and uh, it imprints that into the uh, into your jewelry. So that's kind of uh, interesting. I'll have to read on how to actually use this thing. It's got a few chains and whatnots. And well, uh, of course, pink. Why pink? Uh, it's very presumptuous there. But pink uh, wire cutter, needle nose, pliers, uh, some hoop. Uh, earring sets, hammer, and so on. So that is a jewelry making kit. I'll put that back together a little bit later. I don't know, 20 bucks, I guess, on that retail. All right, uh, moldable glue. Uh, I actually have never used this before. It is sealed, uh, new in the box. Uh, it says three single-use packs and what this does evidently is you can kind of roll it up like silly putty and form it to whatever it is that you're trying to repair and it will also uh, be an adhesive so moldable glue interesting uh, probably five bucks I don't know all right what is this a line output converter uh, this is a line out converter. I think this is something for automotive that will um, allow you to connect your internal like car wiring to, uh, to make it output like these regular RCA style jacks at the end. Um, not certain. Also, there's an image of what looks like a car stereo in the back. Car part, I don't know, 15 bucks, possibly. Looks new in the box. <clears throat> uh, next item. A smart switch uh, by, okay, this is a Z-Wave Z uh, home automation. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, so this is, uh, uh, it feels a little loose in here. Oh yeah, the back is cracked. Um, this protective covering is cracked right there at where the, uh, the screw goes. Um, probably not a massive deal, but anyway, this uh, would have been a remote controlled switch. You've got your various power uh, leads coming in there. I don't know, may have to trash that. Used condition switch, knew this might be 20 bucks. Um, that condition, I don't know. Ugh. Smart LED starter kit. Singled. It's got a network connection on one end, uh, power. Um, 
it looks like that is supposed to control these LED lights. I have not used these before. Um, I'm guessing that this has some wireless technology in it, along with the fact that um, you've got this little home hub. I'll have to test that out. I'm missing the power cable, so hopefully I'll find the power supply, the uh, AC adapter here, in a little bit. Next item, Zippo fuel canister. So uh, this is an open item. I don't know if this would have been used. I don't know. Zippo brand lighters I'm familiar with. I don't. I don't have one, but I don't know. I can't smell anything. I would think I could, if it had any of the fuel in it, oh, here we go, uh, that I would be able to smell it, but no, it's, it's empty. Empty and unused. So I guess you put your uh, Zippo ref refill uh, alcohol or whatever the heck it is in there. You screw the rest of this together and you can keep it on your person. Uh, probably not good for going through the airport. You might get questioned. You might lose your awesome Zippo. Uh, I don't know what these things go for. I'm going to guess about uh, eight bucks new. I have no idea what I might get for something like that to use. Uh, point relief. This is a massager. Uh, I've had massagers come back before <clears throat> in these uh, these auction uh, liquidation boxes. Um, they've not all been like uh, like physical therapy kind of massagers. I I don't know. Is this? I don't know. This is interesting. I'm afraid to. I'm not. Hmm. Probably takes batteries or something. A massager with a little uh, tip that you can insert and then, I guess, massage yourself in a variety of areas. There you go. I don't know. Ten bucks new. All right, next item, we have, aha, this is fun. Okay, uh, this was quite a fad, maybe a year or more ago. I don't know how much of a thing it still is. There are six fidget spinners. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to open this box. Okay, here we go. So there are six different styles. I'm not going to take them all out. <clears throat> uh, there's a purple, blue, green, bronze, gold, and this one's silver. I've never used these before. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't know what the... Um, I don't know what the, f the thing is with these. It's never... I can never figure it out. But it's, it's heavy metal. It feels like pretty substantial in your hand. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe a dollar each or something like that. I don't know. Fidget spinners. I don't know what makes it good or bad. If you know anything about fidget spinners, comment down below. Let me know what your experience has been. I don't know. Could I get a dollar per fidget spinner? Who knows? This looks like the end of <clears throat> this power cable that I need. <clears throat> All right, we're one step closer. All right. We've got several more items to get through in this box. Baby Catan, baby carrier. On the back it shows 
dad and baby. <clears throat> uh, this says extra small. <clears throat> I have no idea how to use these things. It looks like uh, someone put their dress in here. Uh, I'll have to look at that later and see if it's functional or not, but that's uh, something I'm not familiar with. Baby Catan. Couldn't even offer a price on it. Maybe 15 bucks, baby thing. Okay, we have a crushed but new. Uh, it looks like new in box. There's still the, the plastic, this Legos Marvel Super Heroes. Um, Legos can be pretty expensive. This is a smaller box. Um, I imagine that this is probably on the $10 range. If I were to guess, I'll put the price on the, uh, on the video. All right. Next item is a Keurig uh, cup. Uh, so a K cup. Um, I don't know how to open it up. It looks like it's in good shape. It doesn't smell like it's been used. K cup, maybe this is five bucks. Uh, next, we've got this larger box. We're about halfway through the um, through the total box uh, here. Uh, someone just like cut the crap out of. Oh, I bet this is uh, this must be warehouse damage because the the seal up to this point was not broken. Um, what is this thing? Um, an adjustable monitor stand. I'm not going to take it out. Uh, it looks like it's brand new in, the, in all the, uh, the rest of the packaging. I imagine that these things are probably like a $20 new item, maybe $15 new. Not really something uh, worth shipping on uh, eBay. Probably have to deal with that locally. Uh, may even use that myself. All right, let's just take a look, see how this box is looking at this time. So we're getting close to the end. I don't know, maybe six items more. Hard to tell, they're all kind of bundled together. Uh, there's this giant box. So I live in the state of Washington. Uh, it is cold up here at times. Uh, probably could use with rain boots more than uh, I could use ice skates. Uh, but this is, uh, these are size 7 figure skating ladies. Um, let's see. Looks to be new. The blade guard still uh, zip tied to the, the protector thing on the bottom. In both cases, they probably tried this on and maybe didn't fit right. Brand new pair of ice skates. Uh, if I were to guess, maybe 25 bucks new ice skates. I don't know. This is quite the variety pack. Filtration mask. <clears throat> um, this is a neoprene mask. Kind of looks like that, this lady. Um, mask can be kind of expensive. Uh, just the paper ones that you buy at Home Depot <coughs> can be, I don't know, five bucks for a pack of three or something like that. <clears throat> and this one seems a lot, uh, a lot more fancy. It's a neoprene style mask. Um, I don't know, it just seems like it's heavy duty. Or it's a great thing to have a costume built around like anyway nice mask there another cable this goes to our home automation kit so we're just going to keep coming back to this and plugging more stuff into it as we go I'm only missing one other piece that I can think of right now we'll see if it comes all right next item Caterpillar to Butterfly Kit. This is pretty cool. Um, although, technically, the images, I think those are, that's a moth. Uh, not, a cat, uh, not a butterfly. Maybe. What's the difference between a moth and a butterfly? 
But anyway, I did do a butterfly, uh, like a, I did a monarch uh, project a long time ago with, when my kids were little, um, and some of the neighborhood kids as well. It was a lot of fun. Went out, captured some silkworms, put them in a, a box that I had to build, and then watched them turn into uh, butterflies, and then set them free. It was pretty cool. This would have been super uh, helpful at that time. I'm guessing an, maybe a $7 item here. Seems to be new. All right. Timer shower clock. Okay. Uh, in case you're trying to manage how much time you spend in the shower, I guess this timer clock is going to be super helpful. Oh, obviously you'd think they're waterproof. Uh, this guy had some sort of issue. Uh, you can probably see that in the overhead. Um, yeah, that LCD display is destroyed. Um, so that's going to be trash. No good. Just a few other items remaining. Panasonic uh, electric razor uh, guard replacements for a very specific Panasonic uh, style uh, electric razor. I don't have that, so that kind of disappointing. Um, all right, what do we have? Furminator. This is like a, uh, <laughs> this is a comb for your pets uh, that you attach to your vacuum cleaner. You brush over the pet with this attachment and have the vacuum cleaner on and no muss, no fuss. Uh, probably a five dollar item. I don't know. Uh, ugh. What in the hell? Good lord. This is a heavy duty something. Oh! Yeah. So it's very heavy duty, it's all steel, they're quite heavy. These anchors are massive with these uh, bolts. Um, I recall reading in the manifest that this is to put on your wall in your garage, and then you put uh, your spare tires for your car, your wheels and everything, you just set them on the post. Um, probably find other uses for this. Uh, I will not be enjoying any of those uses. Uh, I'm going to set this over here. Times two. All right. Last two items. Uh, more. Oh, this is another pet hair care product. This is like a steel brush. Um, it says de-shedding tool. I don't know how... It's de-shedding. I think it just basically cuts through the, the hairs. Anyway, another pet grooming tool. Last item for this box uh, is some sort of audio uh, item. Uh, let's see. All right, so it's got some ear pieces. Uh, this is, uh, it's funny, this room, this is like very secret service. I don't think this has been used before, but put that in there. Wait. Put on your best blazer, sunglasses, and uh, make sure that everyone can see that cool yeah, I can't even make it happen, but that that coily uh, tube behind your ear, and they'll know that you or whoever you're with is uh, pretty dang important. Um, I don't know what these things... I, I imagine... Oh, it probably connects to a walkie-talkie, uh, because this connection is not anything that I have. It's not like USB. Um, and it's got this uh, screw knob to kind of make sure that that's latched in. I'm sure this is for a walkie-talkie. Uh, 
and it comes with these pink ear inserts for some reason. All right. So that wraps up this box. Uh, it was a wide variety of things, some new items in here, some useful things, some less useful things. Um, if you uh, want to see what we've got in the next box, I've got 14, no, 13 others that are queued up behind this. So I uh, appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, comment down below what you didn't like. Happy to change it up. Uh, but we'll be back with you next time on another unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.